Good morning. Our topic today is entitled, The Lord Will Do Wonders. Okay, we're going back to the story of Joshua when they were about to cross the Jordan River. Actually, Jordan River is the one, uh, the only thing that separates the children of God to the Promised Land. And here we can see that uh, they are about to cross Jordan River. And uh, during the time there was uh, what you call the melting snows have just uh, finished and it was inopportune for the children of Israel to do the crossing because the river is wider and deeper because of the snow that have had melted. So at this uh, seemingly in up inopportune for them uh, because on the other side of the river were uh, settling the giants. Okay, so um, the Lord said to Joshua, Arise and go over this Jordan. In, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 2. And Joshua's response was immediate. And the people followed their leader. And the Joshua rose early in the morning and said to the children of Israel in chapter 3 verse 1. And uh, here we can see uh, the people usually reflect the spirit of their leader. So those who occupy positions and influence in the church as well, the responsibility should be, fir there should be firmness in the work of God. And if they move reluctantly, uh, or if they move reluctantly, I mean, others will not move at all. So here we can see the special preparation that God wants His people to Him. So Joshua uh, told the Israelites, "Okay, sanctify yourselves, and uh, tomorrow God will." do wonders among you in joshua chapter 3 verse 5 to hear god wanted marvelous things for his people but first they had to accept his assignment to make individual uh, preparation as well as spiritual preparation there are striking parallels on this experience uh, with our experience in these last days um, that the uh, when they were about to cross the promised land, Canaan, we also uh, are waiting for the promised uh, Canaan. The Canaan, spiritual Canaan, which is other than heavenly kingdom, which God had promised to each and every one of us. So before Jesus takes us there, we have an assignment to do, to complete the spiritual and the preparation to that experience. I was shown God's people waiting for some change to take place, a compelling power to take hold of them. But they will be disappointed, for they are wrong. They must act. The first step for us to accept the assignment God has given us is the Gospel Commission. Testimonies uh, for the Church, Volume 1, for page 261. So God wants to do wonders for your congregation, for a church, for your family, maybe, or for you personally. Accept the assignment that He has for you. Make an entire wholehearted consecration to the service of God. So I hope that this will be a challenge to us Christians in our days at what God had um, commanded Joshua. In Joshua chapter 3 verse 5 it said and Joshua said to the people sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you I hope and pray that this same um, command will be given to us sanctify ourselves for tomorrow the heavenly kingdom God has promised to each other of us will be given to us if we know the assignment he has given us gospel commission. We're going to tell the world about his great love 
and about the salvation that's preparing for those who will be faithful and true to his word so thank you for watching and may god bless us today